good YouTube it's your girl J Bay from life with J Bay and I'm back with another video so today I'm gonna to be doing my edges yes look at these joints a mess but you know we're gonna fix them we're gonna fix them because they're not they're not working so first get your toothbrush it could be any toothbrush just with soft bristles it just depends on the type of hair you have if you want hard bristles then get that but yeah so I'm using my Oh, don't mind my hair. Please don't mind my hair. I'm doing a braid off. But I'm using my Eco Styler gel. Um, you can get, usually I use the olive oil one, but today I'm going to use this one. Someone got it for my birthday, so I was like, whatever. And it has 10 maximum holds, so that's the highest. So get your toothbrush and dip it into the gel. Don't take as much, or oh, I don't use as much because I don't want my edges to be hard throughout the day. Like, they can move. Well, not move. I don't want them to move, but at least be soft. So, just put that on there. Um, and I start on the side. And the way that I lay my baby hairs, I like to lay them as if I'm, as if my hair is in, like, a side part. So, I take one side and I swoop it down, as you can see right here. And then I keep on going and swooping them down in different ways. hair my hair it just was not cooperating at all with the toothbrush like it didn't want to lay in the way that I wanted it to be so I'm gonna go and go get my comb and I'll be right back okay so I'm back with my little comb and I'm going to separate the that top edge from the bottom one and I'm going to swoop it down with the comb in the way that I wanted it to be well the way that I wanted it to lay with the toothbrush but didn't so I'm gonna use the comb and I'm gonna swoop it and tuck it into my braid so it can lay, you know, in a nice cute little slay way, you know, slay all day. <laughs> Don't mind my little tiny bun in the back. I just cut my hair to a little bob, so I have a little stingy bun in the back. But yeah, I'm gonna repeat this, you know, throughout my whole head. Okay, so now on to my little sideburns on the side. I don't usually, it depends on the hairstyle that I have or when I lay my sideburns, but when I do, then, you know, I lay them. I don't really like laying them because it kind of looks weird, but what I do is I slip the side down and I move it like, I can't explain it. The bottom, I curl it with my finger, but the top, I, I lay it flat because I don't want it to be like, I don't, I can't explain it. Like, it gets fuzzy at the top, and I don't want it like that. Like, I want it to lay and just have the little curl at the bottom. So, I swoop it like how I swoop the rest of my baby hairs, and I just let it curl on its own at the end. If it looks awkward, then I'm going to fix it with my finger, but most of the time, I just let it do its little thing. And I repeat that on the other side. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so this is 
is the end of this tutorial of my baby hairs. If you liked it, then give me a big, like a big, humongous thumbs up because, you know, I kind of been slacking on YouTube. I'm so sorry. Like, it's not going to happen, like, ever again. I promise you guys. But I do have more stuff in store. I have more hair tutorials. I think I'm kind of like, everyone's moving more towards their tutorials. So I'm just going to, you know, do that. Um, and yeah, if you like to give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment if you liked it, what you want to see next. Um, and yeah, so that is it for my little video, my little stingy butt in the back. And bye, guys.